We thank Sophie for beginning readings in the Gospel of Mark. Today is Monday, July 13th. Mark's Gospel begins by declaring who he believes Jesus is and how he first appeared after John had baptised him. Today's reading is taken from Mark 1, verses 1 to 15. The beginning of the good news about Jesus the Messiah, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord and make paths straight for him. And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. The whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem went out to him, confessing their sins. They were baptised by him in the river Jordan. John wore clothing made of camel hair with a leather belt around his waist, and he ate locusts and wild honey. And this was his message. After me comes the one more powerful than I, the straps of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I baptise you with water, but he will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. At that time, Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. Just as Jesus was coming up out of the water, he saw heaven being torn open and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, whom I love. With you I am well pleased. At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness, and he was in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals, and the angels attended him. After John was put in prison, Jesus went to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God. The time has come, he said. The kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe the good news. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Father, we thank you for Mark's gospel, which introduces us with freshness to the life of Jesus. Help us as we read this gospel together in the coming days to experience something of the wonder and awe of those who first met him and declared him to be the Christ, the Son of God. Our Monday prayers focus on creation in Christ, God's creation and God's provision for us. Almighty God, maker of all good things, Father, Lord of all creation, in Christ you have shown us the purpose of your providence. Call us to be responsible in the world. We pray for the world. We pray for all the nations, recognising that we share the limited resources of this earth together. There is plenty for all, provided greed is avoided. We pray that the nations in their balance and in their share of power and rule across the oceans and across the land will work together to make sure everyone is fed and everyone is cared for. We pray for our own country. We ask, Lord God, that you will give to our leaders at this time such a vision of your purpose for humanity that we will be able to work together in this community uh, for the good of all. We pray for the continuing and unfolding plans for the uh, continuing of the release of lockdown and pray that before long uh, we can look back on this period of our history as one in which we have learnt a lot but which we're glad to leave behind. We pray for the peace of the world acknowledging that divisions over food and resources are the source of many of the conflicts that we have had in recent generations. We pray, Lord, for your protection upon all nations as they deal with their mutual responsibility and their need to work together. We pray in community for racial harmony, recognising that we all know who are like us and who are unlike us, and yet we want to be open enough to welcome people of every background to be part of our experience 
that we might learn from them and that we might be able to work with them. We pray for those who maintain order, thinking especially of local police services as they work together to bring harmony to local communities. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the order of created things, the resources of the earth and the gift of human life. For the continuing work of creation, our share in it, and for creative vision and inventive skill. We thank you for your faithfulness to us, in patience and in love, and for every human response of obedience and humble achievement. We pray together, may we delight in your purpose and work to bring all things to their true end, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.